Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a two part video, this is the first part. We're going to be cleaning and re-seasoning our cast iron pot. Because we seasoned it but we accidentally left it out. So first we're going to start to clean it. We're using a metal scourer and some water to clean it. First we're going to give it a bit of a scrub. Then we're going to get, put a bit of water in it, try again a bit more of the, the old oil off. And then rinse it out and then re-season it. Now we've finished cleaning out the pot, we're going to light the fire so all the water can evaporate. Then we're going to put a bit more water in it, then we're going to season it. Now we're going to light the fire to get the hot plate to heat up so all the water in the pot can evaporate. Then we're going to put a bit of oil in it to re-season it. The water is almost evaporated in the pot. There's only a little bit left in the corner, so we're going to give it a few more minutes before we put the oil in and season it. As you can see, all the water has evaporated out of the pot. Now we're going to put a bit of oil in there and use a steel wool to mix it around the pot. This is the, we have the oil here. We're going to put it in now. We've seasoned the bottom of the pot. The sides don't need doing as they were pretty good from last time. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For you that are new here, my name is Seth. In this video I'm going to be showing you how we cook this beef mince in our cast iron. So we're going to gently put the beef mince in to make sure no oil splashes out. Breaking the beef mince up so you can spread it through the pot. So the beef mints have a bit mostly cooked, 
Now we're going to add in the sauce stuff that we made, which contains onion, radish leaves, onion, and garlic leaves. And it also has dried chilli in it. And we're going to mix it until all the water in it has evaporated. So all the water, actually all the water is evaporated now. So we're going to season the meat now with garlic, basil, salt, and all-purpose all garlic. So this is the base parsley with onion. onion. And this is all-purpose seasoning. And some pink Himalayan salt. Some garlic. I like the elder. And another type of garlic powder. Now we need to mix all of the ingredients together. And we have ABC sweet soy sauce. sauce. Oh. Or, um, I can't really pronounce what this one is. Wish to shoe sauce. Thanks. I was going to mix those three sauces really old of it, like we did put the seasoning. All mixed through now. So, and we have some soy sauce, regular soy sauce now. Some oyster sauce. And some chili, hot chili sauce. Are you going to let that cook for a couple of minutes, sweetheart? Yes. And after this is cooked a little bit, I'm going to add the tomato paste sauce and peeled tomatoes. Are they jars and cans? And they're jars and cans. This is the tomato paste we're putting in. These are the, these are the peeled tomatoes. So I'm going to add the peeled tomatoes in first. <laughs> My 
it again accidentally slip. There's just this one smaller that's stopping all of the stuff the sauce coming out. We need to do a bit more wood in the fire. We don't want to put too much in it because we want it to simmer. So it's it's cooked down to the way we like it now. We're going to add in the tomato sauce. Now we've got to mix the sauce through. It may look like there's more sauce than the mints right now, but soon it's going to cook down, so there's it's going to be like thicker. Going to evaporate some of the water. Yeah, and we're going to evaporate a bit of the water in here. We have the lid here and it's kind of hot from sitting in the sun. The top looks quite rusted but that doesn't matter. The inside's nice and black. Let me show you. The inside's nice and black and seasoned so the top of the lid doesn't, it doesn't matter what it looks like at the time being this little bit of paper on there. Um, kind of let that simmer down for a little bit. Keep on checking it because we have just put more wood on the fire so we don't want the bottom to bend. Otherwise, it'll go through the whole sauce. What are you doing, Seth? Just bringing up all of the ingredients and putting them back inside. So the fire's almost an hour. We think it might be almost cooked enough. And Mum's going to help me get take the lid off. That's what it looks like now. Is it ready? I think so. It's thickened up quite nicely on the bottom. If we just leave it on here and let the fire completely go out, it'll continue to slowly just simmer. Um, and then once it's cooled down enough, we'll take it inside. I'm back up in two thousand mil and so we're going to do what are we going to do with this? We're gonna use it we're gonna freeze some for future meals and do some Shepherd's pie tonight for dinner. Shepherd's pie, which just done the potato, pit, chopped and boiled the potatoes this morning, and then we've already mashed that and it's cooling down inside. So we're going to serve up some in the air fryer and. So we've done some in, we're going to do the shepherd's pie in the air fryer because when we moved into this house, the gas line was all clogged up with wasp nest, um, mud wasps. So that was exciting having to blow out the gas line with the air compressor so that we can at least get the hot water system going. Now, this house was vacant for six years, about six years. So I don't trust the stoves. The, pr the tenant that was in this property pr six years ago also didn't use the oven or the stove. She didn't trust the gas line. Neither do we. We're waiting to be able to find an old wood stove um, for cooking oven and hot water. So at the moment, we are cooking on an electric hot plate. So we thought that we'd cook the spaghetti bog mix outside today. Perfect opportunity not having to um, use electricity up. or cook inside. It's actually heated up pretty well today, hasn't it, Seth? Yeah. And we haven't had to spend most of the day. That's why we usually does cook in 
the cooking inside. So we've got enough here for probably three nights worth of dinners. We can chuck some spaghetti bog in the freezer and then we just have to heat it up and cook up some pasta and then we will we might actually put some away for a lasagna, some away for a sweetie bog, and then have shepherd's pie tonight. What did we have for dinner last night, sir? Shepherd's pie. Shepherd's again. pie. We've been rocking Where the my shepherd's dad pie. And my younger siblings went into Bunbury and Harvey, and I say the and relaxed with mum. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching my video. See you next time on my channel.